What's going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. So today we're going to be looking at the top 10 mods that have been released for 1.17 already. Unfortunately, Forge has not been updated to 1.17 yet, but Fabric has and a lot of mods have already started coming out. So today we're going to be looking at my top 10 that have already come out and let's jump right into it. By the way, if you like today's video, be sure to drop a like down below. And if you're new to our channel, definitely be sure to subscribe. We're gonna be putting out a lot more mod content as uh, new updates start coming out. And we also cover a lot more of other Minecraft content. So hit that sub button and let's get into it. The first mod that we have for you guys today is the Copper Equipment mod. So basically what this mod does is it allows you to craft armor and tools out of the new copper ingots which you can get in the 1.17 update. It's kind of weird that this already isn't in vanilla Minecraft, but now we actually have an opportunity to create these armor and tools, which are basically the same stats as iron. As you can see, copper does actually have some benefits. The helmet is one armor better, all the rest of the armor is the same, and then some of the attack speeds and damages are slightly different across the copper tools. So if you wish you could have some more use with the new copper ingots, definitely download this mod because it does give copper a very good reason to be in the game other than for its decoration blocks. Next up we have everybody's favorite ease of life mod and that is the falling tree mod. What this mod does is it breaks down the entire tree when you break a log and it actually collects the leaves and saplings that would come down with it. Uh, so you can get all the sapling sticks that you normally would instantly instead of having to wait. If you don't want the entire tree to fall down when you chop it, just hold the shift key and you'll be able to chop one log at a time just like in vanilla Minecraft. Next up is probably one of my favorite mods on the list and that is the carrier mod. This mod allows you to pick up chests and other immovable items and carry them around with its inventory full. It will of course slow you down. But if you're trying to move chests around in your base, this is a great mod for you because it makes things so much simpler and it's very easy to use. All you have to do is shift and right click on the chest and you can pick it up. You can change those keybinds in the control panel, but you really don't need to. This mod simplifies things so much and I personally hate moving all my items from chest to chest, so this is great for me. And you can even connect it to other chests to make double chests, so it makes it very simple and easy to use. Next up we have the mod that dominated the intro to this video and that is Adorn. Adorn is of course a furniture mod that adds shelves, sofas, dressers, tables, chairs, lamps, stone torches and ladders and so much more. There's so much you can do with this mod and it definitely makes the entirety of your base looks amazing. I just came to a village and just did some decorating in the village just to show you guys exactly what you can do with it and it is very cool. Stone ladder transports you at the same speed that the wood ladder would but of course now it'll look good on your mountain walls or anything like that. This mod adds a ton of storage options, uh, mainly the kitchen cupboard, the dressers, and of course the shelves, which I think look absolutely amazing because now you can uh, put things that you wouldn't normally be able to display onto shelves. Everything is very easy to build and it will make your base look absolutely incredible. And some other things like iron golems walking straight up to the window will also make your base look incredible. Next up we have a huge tech mod for fabric and that is Industrial Revolution. This mod adds a ton of machines and other uh, ores, things like that to your game, which will completely revolutionize how you play Minecraft. It can auto mine, auto farm, do a ton of different stuff for you. Of course this is going to take power and you are going to have to learn a lot with this mod, but fortunately as you can see here it comes with a book that absolutely explains everything, so it makes it very simple and easy to use. There is so much to explore with this mod, uh, farming is one of them, and it will auto bone meal and harvest and plant everything that you put into it. So here you can see I have a 5x5 potato field and it is completely bone mealing and harvesting everything super quickly. So this is a super efficient way to get all your farms up and going. You can put any seed you want into it, so it is very useful. And it'll harvest and keep exactly what it needs in its input. Mining is another portion of this and as you can see this is slowly mining through everything that there is in this chunk. It'll collect all the iron and ores, everything that's in this chunk and bring it right up to the top here. 
If you want to find some new randomly generated structures, Mo's structures is the best thing for you for 1.17. Of course, you can find hot air balloons and so much more in this. It adds a ton of new stuff, including dungeons that you can fight your way through and gain some loot from as well. There's a ton of new structures, including pirate ships, castles, flying castles, and so much more. There's definitely a lot to explore with this mod, and it is very fun. This pirate ship here specifically has a complete dungeon in the bottom of it, so you can fight your way through and light up all these spawners. Of course, with this mod, there are smaller structures like barns that you'll find, which don't really have a lot of loot, but you will find some seeds and other things, including horses, and, you know, it is a very nice barn that you could even make a small starter house out of. Next up, we have another storage system mod, and this mod is called Packages. It allows you to just right click things straight into these packages, which you can make with the small stand you can see right on the left there. And you can put as much as you want into it, up to eight stacks, and then you can break it and carry it around as well. So this is super convenient for storage. You can see exactly how much you have in it. I have 490 potatoes. If I right click the front, then I can get those potatoes back. By breaking any other side, I can carry it around and place it anywhere I like. There are a lot of different options of uh, packages that you can make. This one is a dark oak package, but you can also see that I had a copper package over there as well. These are super simple to use and great for all your storage needs. Next up we have a super convenient mod and this mod allows you to find exactly where your items are in your chest. By hovering over an item in your inventory and hitting Y, it'll light up any chest around you and show you exactly where that item is. So you can see that I have diamonds in all three of these chests and it'll even highlight it in your inventory and the chest to show you where the item is and make everything very easy to find. This is a great mod for sorting out your chests and for being able to find things when you're not able to, which for me happens a lot. One of the mods I love seeing people use just because it makes the game look nicer is the Better Dropped Items mod. And this basically does exactly what you're seeing on screen here, and all items that are dropped will just sit on the ground, and I think that looks extremely cool. It's definitely cooler than the vanilla Minecraft system, but it still feels like a vanilla game. The way your items work on the ground will be completely the same, they'll stay for exactly as long, but they look like this instead, which I think looks very nice. Last up today, we have the Dark Paintings mod, and this mod just adds a lot of new paintings to the game. Some of them, which you see up there now, are the vanilla paintings, but others are part of the new mod pack. Personally, I really like the design of these, and I think they fit into the game very well. Those are all the mods that we have for you guys today. If you would like to download any of them, the links to them are in the description down below, so you can go and download those for yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to drop a like down below, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and stick around for all our content. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.